Hey guys, Matt here from Matt Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty sweet intro I made myself. It's uh, it's specially made for the 4th of July, which for me right now, as I'm recording this, is tomorrow. Or for you, depending on when you're watching this, it could be today, or it could be nowhere near the 4th of July. Anyway, here it is. Check it out. I'm going to try and make this really short because it, it took a long time and I have to keep it under 10 minutes. YouTube rules. Anyway, what you're going to want to start off doing is insert a video track because you're going to need one, two, three, four video tracks. Okay, go to Explorer. You're going to need an American flag background as your background, obviously. Um, what I did was I went to properties and I unselected maintain aspect ratio. Yeah, it stretches it out a little bit, but it's kind of hard to notice. I bet you didn't notice it when you're watching the intro. So, that's good. Go back to video effects. Find wave. Add large to the American flag and set horizontal and vertical waves to zero for right now. Horizontal waves is going to be somewhere around 2.8 to 3. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm sorry. What I forgot to mention is that you need to not put it on this first keyframe. You need to double click and then put it here on this last keyframe. You need to do what I just said on this last keyframe. Otherwise, it's going to not work. It's just going to stay as one waved picture that doesn't move at all. So. That's got to be zero. First keyframe, vertical waves, horizontal waves, zero. L last keyframe, horizontal waves, somewhere around 2.8. All right, now go back to Explorer. You're going to add your rocket picture. going to go to Video Effects. Go up to Chroma Key. doesn't really matter what you add here, so just add one. Then click this little dropper here, and click the white. Yeah, you can kind of see through the rocket. It's okay. We're going to make it really tiny right now, so that doesn't really matter. So turn this until it's facing straight up. Zoom out as far as you possibly can, and make the screen, or whatever you want to call this, the dotted line thing bigger until the rocket's uh, pretty small maybe that size that's good and put it all the way at the center of the bottom of the screen but it's got to be off screen now double click to make a last keyframe and then put the dotted line box thingy right in the center of your picture center it make them both smooth all right that's good now video effects again go to Gaussian blur I think that's how you say it add it add medium blur whatever you want doesn't really matter set these to zero for right now And look at this rocket. I'll be changing the vertical range, which as you can see makes it a little blurry. But because it's vertical range and the rocket's moving upwards, makes it look like it's going really fast or like it's actually moving and doesn't actually just look like a cartoon picture. So that's good. We're done with these two layers. Now for this layer, back to Explorer. Add your fireworks. Kind of move them so that they they overlap with the firework rocket. I'll explain this all later. But what you're going to want to do right now is go back to video effects. Go to chroma key or again. Add any one, doesn't matter. This Click this dropper thing again. Click on the black this time. 
just to get rid of the black, obviously. And um, event pan crop. Zoom out on this also and make these smaller. We're going to need to make these smaller because they were way too big before. And click on the last keyframe, make an another keyframe right at the end. And just s make it slightly zoom in a little bit, just so it does this. It's kind of hard to see, but adds a nice effect. Okay, now we're at our last layer. Insert, text media, and type what you want to type. Oops. I type Matt Productions, obviously, because what is this? This is Matt Productions. I didn't really need to highlight that, but anyway. The font I used was called the American Flag, but the S is off screen. So go to Properties, Tracking. Tracking's over here, just if you can't see. And kind of squish it together a little. Yeah, that's his point seven five nine. If you were wondering, that's good. And then change this color to blue. Blue looks awesome. Then go to effects, draw shadow, feather it kind of. Oh, I don't know, third of the way. And then what makes this look cool is the shadow. Shadow color is red. That looks awesome. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to bump map and add upper right glow to uh, to Matt Productions. And then the bump channel is set at green automatically. That won't make your uh, wording do anything. It'll just give it a shadow, which looks not good. So change that to blue. And uh, then it looks pretty pretty cool. It actually makes it bump out. See? Bumps out. This Remember, this is in preview, so it's not going to look as good as it would in your final draft. So now, this is what we have. Boom. Okay, so these just appeared on screen. That doesn't look good. Go to Transitions. Iris or Iris, sorry, Iris, and click nine diamonds in yellow border. Heck of a name, but we don't need that border. So set border to zero. Everything's good except for direction, which we should set to Iris out. Iris out. I'm not Canadian, so don't judge me. I say out that way. Anyway, do the same thing. For the uh, fireworks, border zero, iris out. I don't know why I say out that way. And then do the same to the ends, border zero, iris out. There we go. That should be over here. Nine diamonds in, yellow border, border zero, iris out. Got to work on my outs. So, it looks like this. And as you can see, the firework kind of disappeared a little bit before these actually entered the screen. So, we're going to move these over a little. Um, maybe over just a tad bit more. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Then just fade out the flag. And you're basically done. That's it. That's how you do it. So, if you like the video, comment, uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Tell me how awesome this was, or how not awesome this was, which I would not recommend you do. Yeah. So, hope you liked it. Thanks. This was Matt from Matt Productions, signing off.